Seems to me you're just plain scared. Yes. Yeah, I, I am. Uh, I met him 15 years ago. I, I was told there was nothing left. No reason, no uh, conscience, no understanding, and even the most rudimentary sense of life or death, of, of good or evil, right or wrong. Nothing's going on except kids playing pranks, trick-or-treating, parking, getting high. I have a feeling that you're way off on this. Do you know that I pray every night that he would escape? Death has come to your little town, Sheriff. You can either ignore it or you can help me to stop it. What the hell do you do that for? And if you are right, damn you for letting him go. So I can kill him? Well, that was a dumb thing to pray for. I spent eight years trying to reach him, and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. So is he real? You don't believe in the boogeyman? I watched him for 15 years, sitting in a room, staring at a wall, not seeing the wall, looking past the wall, looking at this night in humanly patient, waiting for some secret, silent alarm to trigger him off. I believe in Michael Myers, a deranged serial killer, but boogeyman. You feel it, don't you, Michael? Well, you should. Say something. Say something! I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face. The blackest eyes. The devil's eyes. What's the boogeyman? As a matter of fact, it was.